I was talking with a friend of mine today who recently had his first child. Uh, it was a boy, a man child. And uh, I told him that being a dad is awesome. This build is one that uh, I did with, with my oldest son, Camden. I got this frame actually quite a while back and have slowly been collecting parts for it and recently had a few companies step up to help top it all off. First, Chris King providing a headset for it, then MicroShift with the new MicroShift Advent X 10-speed drivetrain, which is a great lightweight and affordable drivetrain, and then Magura, who is providing some MT8 SL raceline colored brakes, which my son, when he heard that that was going to be the brakes that we were going to be installing on this bike, was totally psyched. He, he's always been big into mountain biking, for a while was really obsessed with it. Um, wish that I was doing all these restorations back when he was really getting into it. He's a great, great mountain biker, great son, and uh, this build is, has been awesome to do with him. I also uh, am grateful for companies like Spray.Bike also for their continued support. They're great partners. I truly love their product. I, and I know I've said this lots and you guys tell me that's not true. I'm truly an amateur at paint. Uh, I'm an artist at heart though. And I love the, the ease of use of the sprayed up bike paint. And on this one, trying something a little different. A lateral fade or moon, moonrise, I don't know what you call it. Um, it's a Klein look. My son and I, when we were sitting down trying to decide what to do, really wanted a retro look, and the Klein bikes, the paint jobs, the lateral paint jobs were top on our list. And, and so this was one, probably not, it didn't take as long because I can do all three colors of the fade simultaneously, so it doesn't take too much longer. But it's a hard fade to do, to try to get it just right. A lot of back and forth between colors, but it can be done. And I love how it looks. Really turned out awesome. On this also with the lateral fade, using the fluorescence. Uh, just as a note, uh, so this is the second bike that I've used fluorescence on. I used the fluorescent spray to bike paint, the yellow on on the, the Raleigh Chill that I did recently. And on both of them, the fluorescents are a little more powdery. And because of that, it took a little more care to make sure it didn't get too grainy. And then for this, to get the real good shine that we wanted, uh, my son and I, we did four coats of clear coat on it before doing some sanding, especially around the grainy areas on the fluorescent. And that sanding really smoothed it out quite a bit. So if you're looking to use fluorescence, I recommend, a, I think the four coats of clear was, was just about right to then be able to sand the clear coat. Maybe some of you have used it differently and have better advice, but after we sanded it, it got it really nice and smooth, and then we did two more coats of clear on the bike. So this one was really heavy on the clear to get the nice smooth finish, glossy finish that, that uh, we wanted over this moonrise fade, lateral fade, but I feel like it, it turned out great. Okay, one more thing 
this bike was set up for a one and one eighth headset, but it was an uh, an integrated headset with uh, the 44 millimeter, um, which allows us actually to take some of the newer headsets that are out there. Chris King has one. I think King Creek has one also, um, and there may be others. Um, but one of the things that's cool about this Chris King headset, I can run the uh, the the bottom portion of this headset fits in and makes it so you can have the tapered steer tube. So it'll have the 1.5 on the bottom and uh, 1 and 1 eighth on the top. The, the top will still be an integrated internal headset and the bottom will be external with the bearings on the outside, which I think is actually cool because I think the Chris King headsets are, are beautiful that way. And this this was a really cool setup, and with the fork that I had found for this build, it, it worked out perfect. One of the cool things also about Magura and what I actually really liked when I was talking with, with their marketing team, they were really keen on me mentioning their Magura Alliance team program for, for racers, both professional and amateur racers out there to be able to become a part of their alliance team and get discounts on on Magura brakes for their their bikes. Um, it's a neat program. I'll put a link in my description below towards that. I, I really like kind of the grassroots racing programs that are out there and Magura offers some of the the coolest brakes out there. These MT8s are, are really awesome.
And with that, this build is done. This was a really awesome experience to, to be able to build this with my son. He's a good kid. Um, on this build also, I want to thank uh, Park Tools and Spray.Bike again for being great partners, for Chris King for the beautiful headset, and Magura for these awesome brakes that really, really pop with the frame. Look for some future reviews of these brakes. I, I plan on doing a little more video content about them as I, I test them out and use them a little more. They're, they're awesome brakes. I love the way they feel. I also want to thank Microshift for the drivetrain, the Advent X. I plan on doing a review of them also as I use the full Advent X drivetrain altogether. And again, I want to thank my son for his help with this build, for being such a good kid. Um, he graduated this year. He's one of those seniors that uh, has no, no prom, no ceremonies. Um, he's not too bummed about that, actually. <laughs> he's just happy to be done with school, and he's done really well. He'll be starting college in the fall. So, look for opportunities to give those old things new life. Look for opportunities to spend time with your family. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share these with your friends that love bikes. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.